Hi everyone, it's Henny again. I know it's been a long time. We moved into this house about three months ago. Three months, I can't believe it. Anyway, uh, I like the house, the, the property. We have a lot of property. We have an in-ground pool. Everything is great. The only thing I don't like is this electric range. She don't dig it. Yeah, I don't dig it at all. I'm so used to cooking with gas. I mean, the ovens are okay, but it's this here, learning how to regulate. Whatever. What I'll be making for you today is penne alla vodka. I have here three to four cloves of garlic chopped, a small onion chopped, a cup of grated cheese, a half a cup of vodka, whatever kind you like, some brzut. I usually use pancetta, but I didn't have pancetta. I got brzut. I have a half a cup of heavy cream and some sauce. You could use paste, you could use tomato sauce, you could use fresh tomatoes, whatever you like. And I have a pot of water boiling here. And of course, my glass of wine. So what I'm gonna do now is take the pancetta, I mean, this is a brazut. I have four tablespoons of oil in the pan, olive oil. Four tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna render it for a couple of minutes. Can you use other oil if you want? If you want to, but this is Italian. You gotta use olive oil. So um, it, this is about two ounces of prosciutto, two to four ounces, however you like, whatever you like. I'm a firm believer you do to your taste, to your liking. Now when this is about two minutes rendered, I'm going to take it out and put it in this bowl. Well, I tell you, this has been quite an experience moving up here. From New Rochelle, I'm a city girl, <clears throat> excuse me, and I was born and raised in New York City in a little section of Manhattan, which was one of the first uh, colonies of Italians. Little Italy, little, little, little Italy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we moved up here, and this is really country. Uh, you're taking me out of the city and you're putting me in the country. You can't walk to anything. You've got to take a car for everything. It's a good thing I drive. And uh, so far we like it. But I'm hoping that this winter is not, is not going to bombard us with snow. But I've heard that we're going to get a lot of snow this winter, which means I won't be going anywhere. The roads here are so windy. I mean, if you one wrong turn, you go right off the cliff. Anyway, let's take this out. It's almost done here. I'll take a sip of wine. As I said, I have my water boiling for my pasta. This. This whole dinner, the whole process takes like 15 minutes. Put your water on, put your oil on. I'm going to take it out. And of course, I have my little sprigs of basil. And look, I've got garden tomatoes. I'm going to make myself a little salad later. I do have a video on the tomato salad. Just look it up. I mean, not for anything, but well, as we used to say, not for nothing. I made, I made, this is the 63rd video I'm making. I mean, I can't, sometimes I can't even think about what to make a video on. My grandson comes up with some ideas. He says, Nanny, how about your uh, dressing? Your, your salad dressing. I said, okay, I could do a video on that, but it's gonna take all of two minutes. He said, that's okay. 
So now I took the brisuit out and what I'm gonna put in is the onion and the garlic. Put a little salt and pepper, but I don't wanna put any salt and my uh, family doesn't like pepper. I like pepper. So and we're gonna saute this. This is gonna take a little while. So I'll come back when this is done. We put a little cover on it and we saute it for about uh, eight to 10 minutes like that. And when it's just right, I'll be back. Okay, so this is rendered down, it's looking good. Smell. What I'm gonna do is put the vodka in. I have a half a cup here and I'm gonna cook it until it's like half done. I've uh, done half. Uh... What was that? <laughs> half done? <laughs> Till it's reduced to half. Okay. okay. In the meantime, the water is boiling Still. for the uh, pasta. I'm going to put some salt in, a nice handful. Nice. A nice handful, and I'm going to throw in a pound of, z this is ziti regatta. Regatta? Regatti? Whatever. Okay. This, so I'll be back when this is reduced to half. Okay, so this is reduced to about half. Putting the brzuth back in. And the tomatoes, as I said before, you could use tomato paste, you could use uh, tomato sauce, whatever you want. And the, and the pasta's cooking there. I'm gonna take the pasta out of here and add it into this here. How long did it take for you to cook down the vodka? Uh, I'm gonna add the cream now. Already? It's a half a cup of cream. How long did it take you to cook down the vodka? So the vodka? Uh, not long, Five. three, four minutes. Yeah, yeah. And this is fresh basil. We're gonna put that in here. Okay. And let this cook a little bit. Another two, three minutes, I would say. And when the pasta's done, we're gonna add it right in here and Voila! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the pasta is done. I like it really al dente. And uh, you use a little bit of the pasta water. You could save some. But when you do it this way, you get some pasta water into the sauce anyway. This is a pound. Did I say that? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I'm saying it. There you go. My grandson, who's 10, he loves when I make the videos. He's always giving me suggestions, like the pasta salad. He told me to make it. He told me a couple other things. Nanny, did you make this? Nanny, did you make that? And most often I have but uh, he also subscribes to this menu that he gets these menus every, every, week, every month, once a month. And last month he got, and he made us dinner last week. The last week he made us spaghetti pomodoro. What a combination though. Spaghetti pomodoro. With meatballs. With meatballs. And uh, quesadillas, right? Cheese quesadillas, and yes. And what was the dessert, Arthur? It was some, some Brazilian chocolate cookie balls. Yeah. Something like that. Very chocolatey rich. <laughs> very, very chocolatey. Yes, it was. It was a good meal. It was good, though. It was very good. Of course, his mother helps him. He doesn't do it all by himself. 
but it was very good. He likes to cook. And he likes to help, especially at Christmas time. Oh boy, is he a holiday kid. Okay, well, Hetty, time to clean the stove. I think that's enough. I don't need any more pasta water. There's enough when I scooped it in. That's so fun. I'm gonna put it in this dish right here. Ah. Isn't that delicious? And we're gonna sprinkle it with cheese. And a little sprig of basil. How's that? Looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. Let me taste one. Mmm. That's good. Okay, my wine, my wine. <laughs> Until the next time, and I'm going to try and make one every week. Bon appetit. <laughs>